In this video, let us learn how to create this simple yet beautiful animated PowerPoint template. You can see that it shows transition from red to orange to teal to green, showing a progression from one stage to the next. By the way, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. If you want to learn 25 creative PowerPoint ideas that you can use in your next presentation, please join our 5-day free email course by clicking on the link in the description box below. The first step is to create the slider. For that, let us go to Shapes. From Rectangle, let us choose the second one called as Rectangle with Rounded Corners and draw a slider like so. Make sure that it is aligned centrally by using the Align Center option. Then use this yellow handle to create full curvature on the sides. Adjust the height according to your requirement. Then choose a light grey color for the slider. Go to Shape Outline, say No Outline. Then right click, Format Shape, go to Effects option, 3D Format. For top bevel, use this one called as Cutout and that gives this beautiful railing kind of a setup on which we will slide the button. Next, let us draw the button by going to Shapes, picking up the Oval tool, draw a circle. Once again, go to the Effects option, 3D Format, go to Top Bevel and use this one this time called Slant and that gives it a button like look and feel. Go to Shape Fill and choose Red Color because that is the starting point. Go to Shape Outline and say No Outline and I'm going to place it over here. Now, we need to ensure that the other buttons are placed at appropriate distance. So, I'm going to take a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D. And then I'm going to place the last one somewhere over here. And then let us have two more instances of this by pressing Ctrl D and Ctrl D again. Now I'm going to have these equally distributed. So I'm going to select all four of them. Make sure they are aligned properly and then distribute it horizontally. Now the distance is proper. Now I'm going to select these three buttons and change the color to black. You will understand the reason why a little later. Now I'm going to create the text placeholders. Let us go to shapes. Once again, pick up this rounded rectangle, then draw the rounded rectangle shape. You can decide how big you want. Then I'm going to draw a triangle by going to basic shapes and using this isosceles triangle option. Flip it vertically and then place it over here. Make sure that this and this are selected and are aligned centrally so it looks proper. Then let us merge both of them by going to Shape Format, Merge Shapes and using Shape Union option. Make sure that you place this exactly in alignment with this first button. Now let us press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and then place this in alignment with the second one. And then press Ctrl D again, Ctrl D again. I am going to ensure that all of them are aligned to the top so everything looks neat and organized. We are going to remove the outline. Go to Shape Effects, Shadow and use this outer offset bottom left shadow. Then we are going to choose a light color for each of them. The first one is going to be red, so I am going to choose the lightest red color possible. Then the next one is going to be orange to show the transition and therefore I am going to use the orange color. And then the next one will be teal and therefore the lightest of teal. And the last one is going to be green and therefore the lightest of green is going to be used here. Then use a separate text box to write your text and make sure that it is properly aligned to the center. Make a duplicate of this and then place it right next to the previous one, making sure that everything is aligned using the smart guide. Then press Ctrl D again and again. And we're going to group each of these elements. So let us select the box and the text and group them by using Ctrl G shortcut. Then we are going to do the exact same thing for the remaining ones as well, selecting the shape and the text box and grouping them individually like this. The next step is to add custom animation. Let me close this, go to animations and open the animation pane. The first thing I'm going to do is to select this button. It is going to enter the scene with a simple basic zoom animation by going to more entrance effects. In moderate you can choose basic zoom and say ok. So that is how the first one enters the scene. And right after that I am going to have this one float in. And this floats in from bottom and it can be for one second duration and this happens after previous. Next we are going to make this move from here to here. 
So let us go to add animation. Since we already have one animation on this, we want to add another animation by going to this option. Don't choose this. Then go to motion paths lines and then say it needs to move to the right. Select the end point, hold the shift button and then make sure that it aligns perfectly with the black circle. Now you understand why I chose black color for the previous one because it helps us to align these elements easily. Then we don't need this black anymore. So I'm going to delete that. Next, I'm going to choose this one float in after previous. Then let us select this add animation lines to the right. And this time you can see that this is the end point. Hold the shift button down and make sure that it aligns with the black circle. Then the starting point needs to be moved from here to the previous end point. Now you can see that it beautifully snaps to the previous end animation. So now we have got movement from this place to this place. Excellent. Now we don't need this black anymore. So let us delete that again. Select this go to float in and this happens after previous. Repeat that for the last one. Select this add animation lines right and then pick this endpoint and then make sure that it aligns with the last black circle and then move the starting point to correspond with the previous endpoint. Remove this black circle, add a float in animation after previous for the last one. Now I'm going to make a few refinements to the custom animation timing and then I'm going to add one more animation which I'll come to a little later. The first one I'm going to do is to make sure that all these movements that is from one place to another the line animations are all of one second duration. So it doesn't really take up too much time. Then after selecting each of these while holding the control button, which allows you to select non contiguous animation events, you click on the drop down menu, go to effect options and say no smooth start, no smooth end and have a nice bounce end and say OK. Now we are also going to change the color of the button in each of these stops. So after the first movement, the color of this button needs to change from red to orange. So I'm going to select this add animation, go to object color and the effect options needs to be orange. Now this happens for a duration of one second and this happens with previous and this I'm going to keep this along with the second one. Can you see the first time this zooms in second it moves from here to here while that happens the color changes and that is what you see here. Then once again let us select this add animation object color and this time I'm going to change the color to teal and this happens for one second and this happens with previous and this happens along with the previous movement from this to this. Once again select this add animation object color and last time we are going to have this as green and the duration of this is one second and happens with previous and this happens along with the movement from this to this. Now let us go to slideshow and see what happens. On a click we have the first button appear and the corresponding text appear. Then on a click the button color changes from red to orange and the corresponding explanation comes in from orange to teal and the explanation from teal to green and the explanation. Now there are many ways to present four elements on a slide. The first example is a very simple list with icons and it can be like this. This is a template from our comprehensive all in one PowerPoint bundle and you can see that we can show four items like this in a very interesting way. Instead of just a list, it can be a timeline as well. And this is another example. You can see that after explaining each of the years, we move to the next one. Instead of a timeline, if you want it to be a process, it can be like this where each stage is shown and in an interesting way using purposeful custom animation. The last example is this where each of the elements can be a step as shown like this once again taken from our comprehensive all in one bundle. The best part about using professional animated PowerPoint templates is you don't have to do any of the hard work. All the animation is already done. You just have to replace text and the slide gets ready in no time. We have 4,500 such premium animated PowerPoint templates available in our comprehensive all-in-one bundle 2.0.
Click on the link in the description and know more about this product by watching this video. If you like this tutorial, you will really love this other tutorial that we have put together for you called Creative Ideas to Show Stages of Growth in a Business Presentation. You will find some really creative ideas that you can use in your next presentation. So please click on the link that you see on your screen right now and watch this video next. I'll see you inside that video.